Hello right, guys, welcome to another little Drone Nation video. I hope you're all well. Uh, well, today I'm going to be, well, I'm out waiting for the rain to go off, hold up. I don't know whether you can make that out on the windscreen or not, but it's uh, it's raining at the current moments, and due to the fact of it raining, I can't fly. So I've got my quad sat there with some nice new motors, which I really, really like. So, see you in a minute. Hello. So, uh, well, LD Power Motors, where do we go? I've been running, I've had a fair few sets of motors in over the last few weeks. I've been running the DYS 2206 2600 kV fire motors. I've been running the Emax 2400kV motors, the new ones, um, I think the 2400, yeah they are, yeah, I've been running them, and I've been running obviously the LD power motors as well, which the ones I've got are the 2450kV ones, um, and pros and cons, I'll start with the cons first, there was a few issues including one other set of motors that I've had from LD Power which the bearings weren't brilliant in. Uh, when I first got the motors you could literally get hold of the motor bell and hold the base of the can and you could do that with it. Uh, so they weren't shimmed properly. Once I'd shimmed them and I've flown them for say three batteries-ish, uh, it the bearings themselves weren't good quality at all. Uh, the bearings were just, they just ended up destroyed. So. I messaged, what's her face, I messaged Leela, uh, who's the girl from LD Power who I've been talking to, um, and she sent me another set out and said give them a whirl, so they've apparently updated the bearings, and I'm now happy to say that I've been flying them for around three weeks, I have been putting, well I must have done the easy 15 batteries on them now, and the bearings are still good. There hasn't been no issues with them as of yet. There may be in the future, and I'm sure I'll let you know, obviously, if there is, but at the minute, there's not. Uh, let me see, what other cons are there? This is a pro and a con for me. Some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I like it. Um, the motors themselves have got solder pads on. Now, some people won't like that for the fact that, obviously, you've got to solder both ends so you've got to solder onto your ESC and solder onto your motor personally I prefer it a lot more than I would with the likes of having, well, with having wires sticking out the reason why I prefer it is if you're out in the field or you're out racing or whatever and you stuff your quad in and destroy your motor it's a lot easier to change your motor because you, have, you haven't got to take your ESC to bits to do it you know, normally you've got to cut the heat shrink off your ESC and then you've got to desolder everything and then you've got to right, put new heat shrink on and then resolder it all back up. Whereas in with these, you can literally, in fact, I can show you. You can just solder directly to the motor itself. So with your soldering direct, directly to the motor, it's a lot quicker once the quad's built to swap out the motor if you need to. Uh, last con would be that they're quite amp hungry. Uh, you need good batteries. Make sure you're running likes of either the Overlander FPV series that I'm running, or you're running like Tattoo R lines. So you know a good a good quality battery. Now if you're running like the the cheap energy packs, they ain't gonna cut it. You're gonna end up ballooning. Um, on. In this, I've got, obviously, I've got the 2450 kV motors. I'm running the Emax Bullet 35 amp SCs and a Beta Flight board. Now, with having the OSD on the Beta Flight board, we've cali I've calibrated the what's it called? The volt scaling, shall we say? I think that's what it's called anyway. But either way, that's all calibrated. And now, I'm, with these motors, I'm pulling 115 amps uh, on full throttle. Obviously, after you've done the initial punch out, it backs off ever so slightly. It'll back off to around about 90 to 100 amps. But when you're flying along and you smash full throttle, it, they're pulling 115 amps. The props I'm using are the HQ 5x4x3. Uh, sorry, 5x4x5x3 V3s. Uh, so they, they're not massive. 
they haven't got a, a huge surface area on them. Uh, nonetheless, they're still a 5045. I'm going to try some 5040s today and see how we get on once this flipping rain stops. Um, the pros, a lot of punch on them. Uh, also, it's got quite a linear throttle curve, shall we say. So, it's a, it's a lot easier to judge whereabouts you need to be in the throttle range when you're coming down out of a loop or whatever because I'm not going to put it because your throttle curve is like that it doesn't dip and then go up or it doesn't go up and then back off it, it's literally it, it, it is really linear the throttle curve that the motor's got it's not down to the ESC it's the motor um, whereas I mean like the Emax motors the 2400s there's a lot of low end kick but as you get up towards the top end it backs off uh, with the DYS motors there's not so much low end kick but there's a lot of top end on them so you, I'm going to put it you, with these, you, it, it's a lot. Of, it's just a lot easier to judge for me personally. It may be different for yourself, but it, Josh here was saying about the throttle curve on them being more linear as well, which was sorry about that. Random person smashing his Range Rover off a curb. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me see what are the pros are. There? Obviously, for me, there's the pro where it's where you can solder just directly your ESC wire directly to the motor it just makes things a lot quicker and easier if you need to swap a motor out uh, also because of the 2305 there's not much chance you're going to be able to over prop them so you could run 6 inch props on them on the 2450s anyway the 26s I wouldn't personally run a 6 inch prop on only for the fact that it, it's going to pull a horrendous amount of amps you're going to be lucky and you're going to need 40 45 amp PSCs Alright, so there you go. If you're going to be running a six inch prop, you want to be running either the 2300s or at a push the 20, the 2450s. I wouldn't touch the 2600s. Here comes an Eno, as the kids would say. And uh, what else? The Since the bearings have been updated, I, I, on the first set, I got the bear, as I said, the, the motor bell, you could do that with it. It wasn't shimmed properly, and a couple of weeks after. Obviously, well, about a week after the bearing started to go. Since I've been running these ones, we've not had any issues with the bearings. Well, I've not had any issues with the bearings anyway. Uh, the bearings all seem to be running pretty well. Um, genuinely, I like them. I really like them. They're a very good motor. Um, obviously, now with them sorting out the bearing issue, you know that's been fixed. We'll see how long these ones last. If they need any, if they still don't cut the mustard, shall we say? Then I will uh, be back on to LD Power and say to them what you need to put better bearings in again. But other than that, personally, as I said, I like them. I think they're a good motor. They've got plenty. They've got more than enough kick in them. The, the, the punch is ridiculous on them. It's, as Joshua said in his video, it's like having a V8 for your quad. You know, they, they're just horrendously powerful. Um, also, while I think on, I've been getting slightly longer flight times. Uh, with the Emax motors with the 2400s, I get around about, say, two and a half minutes to three minutes at a push. Whereas with these, I can get three and a half minutes. And obviously, I'm not taking it lightly. I'm murdering around, constantly flipping and looping. And obviously, nothing like uh, Mr. Tom Smith himself, but you know, I'm, I can't even compare myself to him. but obviously I am I'm, I'm in the top third of the throttle range new enough all the time and I get like three and a half minutes out of a pack so that's, a, that's obviously a plus you know obviously the longer you can fly the better uh, I will post some flight footage from today when this rain's gone off and I'll also post some flight footage from the racing last week um, and you can obviously make your own mind up on what they sound like and yeah, leave me a comment or two in the, the description or in the comment box underneath and let us know obviously how you think of the or what you think of the review. Um whether or not you'd uh, purchase some yourself. I'll also bang some pictures in so you can have a, a look over them so you can see what they're like. Um I'd just like to say a big massive thank you to LD Power for obviously sending me like, a couple of sets of these out to try. You know, without them sending them out obviously I couldn't get the word out there on how good the motors are. So, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the flight footage, and I will see you all soon.
Vamos.